Well, hello, hello, dear Squarespace friends. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, between visitors and updating my simple start course, I haven't actually been around here in a you know in a in a few weeks. So normal schedule will resume towards you know mid end August. Uh, we still have visitors, so once the last visitor is gone, I will be able to fully focus on this again. But in the meantime, I did want to share a few updates with you because quite a few kind of, you know, biggish things have been happening. The biggest one being our dashboard. Now, Squarespace have had the same dashboard. You know, this is what you see here on the left for the last, um, I don't know, I want to say like 10 years. And now that they have, you know, done most of their fluid engine updates and you know, and they always focus on other areas, of course, like commerce, you know, but they're also putting their attention now to our dashboard. So we will be seeing some changes and some of them are already happening. Now, some people may see this and some people may not because Squarespace tend to roll out things, um, you know, not to everyone at once. They also kind of test things to see what the market feedback is. This is their iterative design uh, approach. So I want to share with you things that um you know that have been flagged to me by my students and uh, by my audience uh just in case you are seeing this as well and wondering where is this where has this gone and bear in mind all of this might change again as well so first of all on your main dashboard you know it used to say pages at the top here they changed this to website i actually like this change it kind of makes sense to me so if you now click on that, uh, we still see the same main navigation, our not linked section. And now we have a few things here at the bottom called utilities. Uh, our systems pages live here, like the 404 page, the access denied screen. That's if you use uh, member areas, uh, checkout and the lock screen if you use page passwords. Then we have website tools. And notably, this is where custom CSS is now. Custom CSS used to be in the design section, and that has now moved here. Designers are not so happy about this because now we have more steps to get to this. It's a little bit buried now, especially if you have a big website, you know, then, you know, you have a long list of pages here. So you have to like scroll to the bottom of this, go to website tools and then go to custom CSS. It's a little tedious. Um, but, you know, so this may or may not change. I'm not sure. But at the moment, you know, that is that is where it is. If you have the new dashboard layout code injection also lives here. Now, this is custom code that you enter into the header footer uh, sections of your website and also custom code for the log page. So typically, if you have plugins, for instance, when you buy plugins from someone, they often ask you to add code to the header or footer section. So this is where you do that now. Um, also, the mobile information bar is here now. And then cookies and visitor data. You know, this is where you configure your cookie as well. Um, and lastly, we have the trash here. You know, so you may or may not know uh, you can delete a page and you can recover it for up to 30 days. And this is where you would do that, you know, so you can just restore it from here. So these are, you know, what they um, call the system pages and the website tools and the trash, you know, so that all has moved a little bit. Then you will also notice that the design section is no longer here. That's actually the one thing that most people have noticed. Where is my design? Well, you now, let me actually go back to this here. In the top right here, you have our site styles icon, you know, the paintbrush. Click on that and that opens up the side panel for our site styles. So this is all still the same as before. Fonts, colors, you know, animation, global animation, spacing for your website, buttons and image blocks. And I actually really like this. I like that our styling is on the right side now. Um, not everyone is a fan, but personally, I actually do really like that. Like, let me actually just uh, click that one away here. And um, yeah, so now, you know, you get to that by clicking on the paintbrush. 
when you do that, it will put your page, whatever page you're on, into edit mode. So just bear that in mind. So any changes that you make, you know, if you close the site styles again, that will not automatically save them. You have to actually save the page. Now, in this case, you know, our page closes down because we haven't made any changes. Um, but let's say, you know, let's just make some changes to the fonts. And, you know, now here you see it says save, you know, so you have to click on save here in the left corner and uh, to and apply any changes that you make to your site styles panel. So that is the biggest change. You know, you just click on this icon to get to the site styles. Custom CSS is no longer part of this, you know, so if you're using custom CSS, remember that is now in website and in website tools. That is how you get to your custom CSS. Lastly, the settings have changed. You know, so Squarespace have basically reorganized all of this. They have taken the settings from each, you know, like the website section, the commerce section, um, and you know marketing and so on and put them all into this settings panel now and they have added section uh, titles here for you know so anything to do with domains and email anything to do with your website commerce you know marketing and so on so it is a little bit more organized now which is actually really nice and the thinking is that, you know, the settings is something that you usually just kind of touch once, you know, and then, you know, once you have it set up, you don't really have to go back there. So they didn't want to clutter up, you know, the, for instance, commerce section with all of these settings, you know, when there are other things that you go in and out all the time. So that's kind of the thinking behind this. Now, this may still change again, you know, they're still testing this out and working on this. Uh, if you go, for instance, to the commerce section now, if you have a shop on Squarespace, you have less things here now on the left. And, you know, again, we have our uh, section titles here. And, you know, it's, it's, it's actually not bad, you know, so definitely have a look through all of this and familiarize yourself with that. That is the main thing always when we have changes, right? I mean, we, we often resist it because there's new stuff to learn. Uh, and of course, here we also know this may still change <laughs> and not everyone sees it at, at the same time. Eventually, we all will. And if you are in the comma section, you know, at the bottom here, you still have comma settings. If you click on that, it will take you then to the settings panel. And then here you have, you know, the comma settings as well. Now, here is a little trick or tip. The easiest way to actually find something and then you don't have to worry so much about, you know, if things change is to use the forward slash. Just press forward slash and um, and then just start typing what you're looking for. So I'm looking for permissions because I want to maybe add someone. So just start typing and it will give you the options, you know, anything to do with my website. Just do website and then you have all these um, options here. Or if I'm looking for my custom CSS. Well, just type that in, you know, forward slash custom CSS, click on that, and it will take you straight to your custom CSS. That is probably the most helpful thing to remember out of this. Just use the forward slash and search for what you need. You know, commerce, I'm looking for commerce things. So that is where you can find everything. And, um, so yeah, so we will see, we'll see what happens, you know, um, I think more changes are coming, but this is the start of it. A few other little things. You may have noticed that um, Squarespace scheduling has been rebranded to Acuity scheduling, basically branded back to Acuity scheduling. Squarespace bought Acuity a few years ago and it's integrated with the website and they had branded it as Squarespace scheduling, but now they basically went back with that to Acuity scheduling because Acuity is also something you can still use as a standalone service. You know, it doesn't have to be linked to your website or to your Squarespace website. So it's just a branding change. Nothing else has changed here. You probably also heard that Squarespace purchased Google domains. So if you have a Google domain, nothing changes at the moment. Um, you will get information if you do, you know, once uh, the 
uh, you know, the whole regulatory process and everything has gone through and is completed, then all your then your domain will be managed by Squarespace. It doesn't mean that you have to have a Squarespace website. You know, Squarespace already has domains, you know, and that is separate. And uh, I mean, it's easy, of course, to connect to your Squarespace website, but you can already buy a domain through Squarespace without having to have a website. So just make sure you keep an eye on your emails and on information. Uh, it sounds like they're trying to make this a really smooth handover process and um, just contact them, you know, if needed. Um, then uh, video app. I don't know if any of you used the Squarespace video app. It was kind of nifty, you know, but I didn't use it too much. Squarespace will stop supporting that in uh, as of September 15th. And uh, instead, you can actually use the marketing kit in your Squarespace app to create promotional videos. Uh, you know, and that's actually pretty nifty. The Squarespace app is really good. If you're not using that yet, I definitely recommend to download it. It's it's very very good, and uh, the marketing kit is quite is quite nifty. And um, so check that out. If you already use the video app, you know you can still use it if you had downloaded it. Squarespace will just stop supporting it after September. Then finally. I wanted to show you what Squarespace call, you know, Squarespace blueprint when you create a website. This is pretty nifty. If you're literally just starting out and you want to get a website up really quick, uh, let me show you what you can do. Uh, so you go to the templates uh, section, you know, of the Squarespace website. And then here you have the option to build your own template. And if you scroll down, there's also here, you know, a larger section for the same thing. So let us get started. This takes you into the blueprint. So let us go. So the first thing it will do is it will ask you to add your website title. So we will just do that. And you can change that easily later in your website, by the way. So don't worry if you're not sure yet what to call it. And then you can build your own homepage. Um, so you can start with the introduction. So for instance, have a banner, or you can have something like this here, you know, so you have a few pre-styled options here, you know, that you can select. So let's just start with this one. Then you can have some uh, selling uh, features here, you know, so you could just uh, add some products or something about your services, you know, or make it look like that. So these are all pre-styled, you know, this is really pretty nifty, you know, so let's just keep that and have an about section that's definitely a good idea for a home page so you could you know have something like this or like this you know kind of have a look through these designs here and see what appeals you know what do you like then add your uh, social uh, links and uh, i quite like this one here so you could add like your instagram feed for instance that's what this one looks like uh, have a form on your website, for instance, you know, to subscribe to your mailing list or have a contact form, you know, so we're just going to do a mailing list here. And then last but not least, we can select a footer as well. So this way you already have built out a basic page, you know, this is really nifty. Uh, click on next. And now you can also add pages to your website, you know, so it's already selected about and contact page because most people have that. You can also add a shop, you can add a services page and you can style this all later still. You know, this is just to get you going. You can choose a color palette now. Now, personally, I'm, I've not been like a super fan of the uh, predefined color palettes in Squarespace. I usually just have my own colors, uh, but you know, it's just to get you started because again, you can change that very easily later in your website, you know, but if there's anything here that you like, you know, by all means, uh, choose that and, um, and just, you know, uh, go with that. And then finally, the last step is to choose a font pairing. So you can either have just sans serif fonts or only serif, or you can have a mix of both, you know, so I quite like to use a mix. You know, I often like to use a serif font for the headings and a sans serif font for the body text. Again, this can all be changed later. And then you finish 
and now it's working on creating your website and it starts up you know just with a uh, you know little window here my title and actually we're just going to close that for now and voila so here is your website i mean how nifty is that of course you still have to now go and add your own photos add your own content and so you still you know have to spend some time also learn the system you know learn how to use squarespace it's pretty intuitive but it's also you know it can it can be quite complex you know so definitely um you know make sure that you do spend some time doing that but i mean what an amazing way to already have something here because now you know you just have to learn how to change this and how to make it your own so it's pretty nifty i really like this anyway that is everything for today and i will see you again in a couple of weeks thanks so much